All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. So in today's video, we're here in the garage working on the Jeep. So in this video, we're gonna be replacing some of the front end components. So we've got the tie rod ends at uh, kind of each end at the knuckle. Um, one of them is connected to the tie rod itself. That's kind of how that works on this YJ here. And then we've got the ball joints on the pitman arm, or the drag link, sorry, one up at the pitman arm, and then one down at the tie rod. Um, so we'll be replacing those. So I'm gonna get it uh, jacked up onto jack stands and the wheels off, and then we'll uh, I'll start diving into taking this uh, front end apart. So uh, let's get into it. All right, so before I get started taking parts off and replacing parts, I just wanted to show you guys what I got. So I've got the three um, rod ends. I don't know which one is which, uh, but one's up at the pitman arm, one's down uh, connecting sorry, this hole actually, uh, down at the, close to the knuckle. This is obviously for the knuckle and the tie rod. And then the other one is the other, um, tie rod out at the, the other knuckle um, so there's I'll, I'll be reusing the um, the adjuster sleeve that goes on here and connects to the the other tie rod end um, so I'll be reusing that but that just attaches here and then uh, the other tie rod end attaches to the knuckle so I will put the the part numbers for these in the description I got them off rock auto so I can't I don't think I can link the parts directly but I'll put all the part numbers in the in the video description so if you want to do this you can have those part numbers um so yeah the reason i'm replacing these is because what's on there as far as i'm aware and as far as i can tell is original to the vehicle so they're old they're crusty the boots for all the um, rod ends are all kind of cracked and leaking and just really nasty so it's uh time to be replaced the other thing i'm hoping to do is um, as I'm taking all these parts apart and um, we'll be in there anyway, I'm hoping to adjust the um, my steering wheel centeredness. Since I put the lift kit on, my steering wheel has been a little off center um, just because when you change the suspension geometry, you're changing the angle and the, the distance that the tie rod and drag link, or the distance the drag link has to cover, which then kind of turns your wheel some. So I'm hoping by replacing all these parts, I can get uh, that corrected as well. Uh, so. I'm gonna set you guys up on the tripod and then I'm gonna start tearing into this front end and uh, see what we can't do. So let's uh, take a look at that. All right, so what I'm gonna try and do is remove everything from the knuckles and up at the pitman arm um, and take it out as one uh, piece. That way I can kind of reassemble it um, on the workbench and get everything close as far as measurements go. Um, that way when I'm trying to dial in the alignment, I don't have um, hopefully as much adjustment to make because it's pretty aligned as is um, or as far as I'm aware it's uh, the alignment is good um, so it'll give us a good baseline um, and then hope, like I said hopefully we won't have to adjust as much so we'll try and uh, get everything off as uh, one piece I have also had most of these components kind of rem or loosened before so um, this might go a little easier than it might for, than it would for some people, because I have had these nuts off and as I've worked on the Jeep over the years, so, um, it's not, uh, 30 years of not being removed or loosened, but a little easier. So this is loose and free. Um, I'm gonna go down, uh, to the middle, to the steering stabilizer and remove that first. And then. I will try and get everything kind of loose before I actually remove anything from any of the knuckles, just so um, as I'm trying to loosen bolts, things aren't trying to spin and, and move around on me. So it should make it a little bit easier to do it that way. All right, so now we're to the uh, tie rod end at the other knuckle. All 
All right, I've actually been kind of the most concerned about getting this <clears throat> um, Pittman arm free, just because I'm assuming it's never been removed or loosened. I haven't done it, I know that. Um, so this uh, could be interesting. So um, let's uh, see how it goes. This is kind of a funky angle to get the shot. Um, but I got a, I rented a Pitman arm puller. Um, so this tool is actually for pulling the Pitman arm, not removing the ball joint from the Pitman arm. But I was able to kind of finagle it in here. So I'm hoping that I can make this work. Um, so I guess let's, let's find out. All right, so I put a bit of tension on this Pitman arm puller. I'm gonna give the Pitman arm just a couple taps to see if this will release. But there we go. Well, that worked. Wrong tool for the job, but, uh, but it worked. So now that uh, I have everything loosened up under here, what I'm gonna do is put you guys on a time lapse and I'll just go around and remove all the nuts from everything that I loosened and um, we'll get this whole assembly pulled out. So I'll see you on the other side. All right, so here it is. Here's the old nasty one. You probably saw from the time lapse. The steering stabilizer uh, was pretty well stuck in there. So I had to um, I used the Pitman arm puller again and was able to push that out. But uh, in doing so, I damaged the threads on that steering stabilizer, so I will probably be buying another one of those. Um, I also realized as I was kind of removing these components, my original plan to um, kind of line everything up and build it the same doesn't really work because I'm going to be reusing this piece right here on the drag link, and then I will be reusing the, um, the adjuster sleeve over here. So doesn't really work as I was planning, um, which is okay, but what I'm gonna have to do is just take some measurements and get everything pretty close. Um, and then like I said, we'll, we'll figure out the alignment after that. Um, so I'm gonna start, uh, well, first I'm gonna take some measurements of where we are currently, and then I'm gonna start disassembling um, these pieces so we can you reuse some of these parts. All right, so drag link is approximately approximately 31 31 and 8 on center All right, that will give us a good starting point, and then we'll uh, we'll get that dialed in from there. So I'm going to start taking these apart. Basically, there's these kind of sleeves that uh, I guess grip down on the you know from these being able to adjust. So we've got one at each end here, and then we've got two down here on the adjustment sleeve itself, and then one. I guess this isn't technically, or yeah, not technically one there. Um, so. I'm going to get started pulling these apart. 
uh, probably put them in the vise. Uh, put you guys on a time lapse so you can just kind of watch me quickly go through this and take all this apart. And uh, yeah, we'll catch up later. There we go. All right, I'm going to get these parts that I'm reusing, this uh, drag link and this adjuster sleeve. I'm gonna get them cleaned up um, and then probably hit them with a coat of spray paint, just some black spray paint just to make them look nice and new, even though they're not. And then we'll meet back here and we'll start putting everything back together. All right, so it's been a couple days since I was last working on this. I let the painted pieces dry. So here's the adjustment sleeve. Um, here's the drag link, all painted and dry. Look pretty nice and new. Um, so what I'm gonna do is start reassembling everything. I'll probably put you guys on a time lapse. I am planning on using um, some anti-seize on the threads as I put them all together. Just so if I ever need to adjust it or take it apart or anything like that, um, I can do so. I would, you know, they won't be as stuck as they were when I had to break them apart and use heat. So, we'll, uh, I'll get you guys on a time lapse, and then we'll get started reassembling, and then we'll meet back up as we start putting stuff uh, under the jeep. All right, so we got the tie rod and the drag link all put back together. <clears throat> on the uh, we got everything set to kind of the original dimensions that we measured. So drag link is 31 and an eighth, kind of center to center, and then the tie rod is 52 center to center. Um, what we're going to do is get the tie rod in first. That way I can adjust my toe, um, and then what we'll do is we'll get our drag link in and uh, set our steering wheel, making sure it's on centered. Um, so yeah, we'll get this tie rod over to the Jeep and we'll get it installed. The 11 sixteenths at one end and it looks like a three quarter at the other make any sense but, all right all right a little bit of change of plans um just because i think it's going to be easier to measure the toe with the tires on i'm going to go ahead and put everything back together i'm not going to tighten down the uh adjustment sleeves 
on the tie rod or the drag link. But I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back in, fork it all down. We'll get the tires on because that kind of limits me from getting to these nuts with the tires on. And then once we get all that back together, then we'll set our toe in and uh, our steering wheel angle as we'll have the, the tires kind of for reference. So let me put you guys on a time lapse and then we'll meet back up once I've got everything back together and uh, we'll uh, go from there. All right, so we got the tires back on. Um, what I'm gonna do is put you guys on time lapse, and what I'm gonna do is measure. I'm just gonna pick a point on each tire, maybe something like that. Measure it from side to side, um, making sure I measure from the same spot. For my research online, around an eighth inch, um, 16th of an inch toe in. Um, the YJ seems to be pretty good, so that's what we'll go with. We'll try that, see how it works. Um, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll measure the front, up here and then we'll measure on the back side i'll adjust the adjustment sleeve as needed to get that uh, little bit of toe in um, once i have that i'll lock everything down on the adjustment sleeve and then i'll make sure my steering wheel is centered and then i'll lock everything down on the um, drag link just to make sure it's all tight steering wheel is nice and centered um, so yeah we'll get to doing that right now All right, so there we go. Got the Jeep all back together. Um, everything's all torqued down, tightened up, and uh, ready to go. So I'll put some footage of all the new parts kind of in place, um, kind of over me talking right now. Uh, but yeah, that was pretty straightforward. Um, just a few kind of butt bolts and nuts at each end. Um, get everything out, replace it. Um, gotta make sure you're accurate when you're setting your toe. Uh, but really that's all the alignment adjustments you can make on these Jeeps. Um, so very straightforward project. Um, so all that being said, if you enjoyed the video, uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.